This is probably the best EM substat on a Dendro artifact you'll see today, but it's actually not mine, it's a viewer's artifact, and because I wanted to get a Dendro artifact like this, I decided to once again dump all of my resin into an artifact domain just to see if I could put together a quick Dendro MC DPS build, because I thought I was gonna build my Dendro MC, but then I realized I didn't have any Dendro artifacts, but I plan to put a 4 piece deep wood memories I guess? Is that the better artifact? Set. Also, I, I did like try to farm the Dendroculi just so I could reach C6, but I haven't unlocked it yet. So I guess I could do it now. Yeah, I basically just watched Taka GG guides to look for the Dendroculi. There it is. 60 Primo gems and the free constellation for Traveler. Yeah, 12% damage bonus. Cool. Four Gilded Dreams on the MC and Four Piece Deep Wood Memories on another. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, the Four Piece Deep Wood Memories, it seems like a set for a support. So that feels like the Dendro Shred for Dendro, since you can't swirl it with the VV set, if that makes sense. Fortunately, the domain has both artifacts, so I'm just gonna have to look for the better pieces, I guess. Did you pull for Nahida? Nah, I, I did not. I haven't tried her out yet, so I might as well try her out. So she's basically like a support though, right? But I feel like she's gonna, she's still gonna deal quite a bit of damage. Like, that was 26k. So yeah, she's cool, but I'm gonna skip her banner. So right now I have 127 resin. I've already calculated it, I just need to spend 14 resin. It's not enough for a thousand, but I mean, I do have some condensed resin, so that kind of makes up for it. That's basically a thousand resin, right? Double death artifacts? Nah, nah, no death artifacts for this run. What stat am I even looking for? I guess crit rate, crit damage, and some EM. Let's fucking do this, man. Uh, HP with some EM, but I guess I'll pass up on that. Yeah, Lan is thick. That is a factual statement. Dang, wow, three artifacts. Attack sands, two def substats, so pass. Bro, def sands, nah. It does have EM, but HP and def. Whoa, okay, four golden pieces. Kinda lucky, but hell nah, nah. Bro, why is it always HP and def substats? Oh wait, this one looks pretty good. Let's lock this one. Any crit damage hat, I think, with a crit rate substat is already like better than 90% of the artifacts that you're ever gonna get. Too much HP for me. Death circlet? Nope. Why are you all saying HP and death? You're actually cursing me. Dude, what the fuck? Actually HP and death with a sprinkle of crit damage. Dude, everything's HP and death. Okay, it's fine. We still have a lot of resin to burn here, so I have hope. I have hope. This is hopium, not copium right now. Definitely. Circlets. Let's see if it can top the crit damage circlet earlier. Healing bonus? Nah. And another HP circlet. Okay. I wanted to finish it as fast as I could because there's actually like a lot of story leaks. Actually, even before the patch dropped, there were already like YouTube videos with cutscene spoilers. I just wanted to finish it quickly so I, I wouldn't get spoiled. And also, so I could C6 my Lumine physical. Nah. Purple sword for Lumine DPS. Yeah, that's, that's my plan. Nice. Two dendro pieces. Oh, this looks pretty good. Okay, we'll keep this. Attack circlet. Uh, uh, yeah, this doesn't look pretty good. I want to talk about the Archon quest, but I won't say like any spoilers and stuff. Just how I felt about it. I thought it was pretty good. Please give me something. Uh, Sands. It's literally always HP and death. HP circlet. Nah. They did like a lot of flashbacks. Like they show you what they what they did and then they do flashbacks to explain why they did that. That's how Attack on Titan does their storytelling most of the time, which actually kind of works. Instead of it being like linear, like, okay, here's the plan. And then they show you, you get to the plan. It builds like some sort of mystery, I guess, because you're trying to figure out why they're doing the things they're doing, if that makes sense. Attack percent EM with HP and def pass up on that. Another EM piece, but HP, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pass up on that. Preferably, I I'd like them to have four substats just so there's less randomness. Okay, this looks fine, but there's no EM. Oh, wait, what? Okay, this is actually an S tier artifact, so we'll keep that. I'll just hope it, it doesn't roll to HP here. Mmm, HP sands, nah. Ooh. Oh wait, to circle at EM. It does have crit rate. Bruh, hydro damage bonus. And double death. Hell nah. Nah, hit a goblet. Okay, let's see. 
The Snahida Goblet should blow my socks off though. Hey, what the hell? That's actually, wait, how did you get 121 EM on a single artifact? What the fuck? Bro, that's actually a cracked piece right there. Also EM Sands with 21% crit damage. Sheesh. Maybe that goblet would boost my luck here. Def, HP. What the hell, man? Animal goblet? Uh, Actually, I'll just save this. This one, nah, pass. Wanderer's troop. Yeah, actually, the first setup I did was a two-piece dendro with a two-piece wanderers. And I was dealing quite a lot of damage with the spread reaction. I think I was dealing around 30k with the spread. Lumine E at level 8 too. So the damage could definitely still go up. Def. Atta oh, wait. This looks like it could be useful. We'll keep this for now. This could work if I got a crit rate sub. Crit rate ER. Okay, I guess I'll keep this just for the crit rate subset here. Healing bonus. Okay, double def. Cool. Another Animo cup. All right, I want to see the Tignari goblet. Bruh, Tignari's not even on here. Actually trolling, bruh. I guess I'll just roast your Ayaka then. Oh wow, we have a miss splitter. Okay, never mind. Oh, it hasn't updated? Oh, there it is. Actually, only Tignari on the list. Wait, isn't this his signature weapon? Whale moment? Question mark? Okay. Actually, pretty decent. I like the balanced crit damage crit rate. Pretty cool. What's your crit damage crit? Oh, oh wow, wow. That's a lot of crit rate crit damage. Okay, it looks pretty cool. What weapon do you have on Traveler? I plan to use the Mist Splitter on her just for the crit damage, but I could also use an Iron Sting just for the EM. I don't know, man. But I feel like for a spread, spread showcase, I feel like Mist Splitter would be better since it can crit and stuff. Bro, Hydro damage. The HPs. Okay, nah. Another crit damage piece with the crit rate substat. Okay, definitely keeping this one. Ooh, two goblets. Bro, nah. This could have been the goblet if only this was Dendro. Wait, actually, isn't the Gilded Dream set universal though? I'm pretty sure it's not restricted to Dendro reactions. The Electro Goblet could be useful for another character in the future. Yeah, because the Gilded Dreams is really just for reaction-based damage. Physical. And another Death Goblet. Bro, Death Sands? Nah. Uh, this could work, but it has double death, so it's too risky, I guess. Double Goblets again. Oh, Dendro Goblet? We'll just keep that for now. Hydro Goblet. I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it. And HP Goblet. Fuck. No good Dendro Goblet so far. Okay, final four runs here. Death. Hell no. Bruh. HP Sands. Nah. These runs haven't been that lucky. My Heart of Death artifact domain runs were definitely more on the lucky side. I was actually able to build a decent four piece there. HP Goblet. Death Goblet or Death Sands. We'll just make do with what we get. Oh, this actually looks pretty good. Attack Circlet. Uh, pass. Flower here, but okay. And that's a thousand resin down the drain. All right, time to actually look at the artifacts though. Let's start with a flower then. So it looks like I only got, or I only locked two pieces here. This one and this one. This one's the better piece. Let's see what the fourth stat's gonna be. If it rolls EM, that's the best scenario. Attack would be fine too, but EM would be the best. And of course it's deaf. This is a 50-50 moment right now. Just the way we love it. We can never run away from the 50-50s, man. All right, plus eight, please. Be good to me. Yo, you guys are actually cursing me. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. This next power up is bound to be a crit rate or a crit damage. There's just no way, man. 50-50. Come on. What are the odds? Oh my goodness, dude. Even if this rolls into death all the way, I feel like it's still better than the other flower. I'll do at least a plus 16. Plus 16 wouldn't hurt. Sheesh. Holy sh. Maybe a full defense Lumine is the build. Okay, I want to check the other one. Holy shit. Bro, all right, we'll keep this for now. It's still way better than the other one anyways. Okay, for the feather. Oh wait, this actually looks pretty good. Bro, if this rolls into HP or death, Kusanali's not real. Well, there you go, Kusanali's not real. Why are you crying? Okay, the first good stat we got, EM. Dude, what the hell? Maybe I could try this other piece just to see what stat I could roll into. But the HP and death are looking pretty sus right now. Okay, this piece could actually be better. Oh my, I've literally been rolling into death only, but this one does have 40 EM, so I guess we'll go plus 16 for now. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Let's move on to the sands then. This piece, there's just no way it's not. I mean, come on. There's like three other stats it, it, it could roll into. Please don't be HP. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. I need as much crit rate as possible though, since I do plan to use the mist splitter just to balance things out. Or I could just use Chi Chi food. This piece is going well so far. <laughs> Maybe all my artifact RNG went into this piece. Sheesh! Oh, let's go. Just give me the EM. One EM and I could leave. Okay, that's not too bad, crit rate. Okay, this will be the first piece I'll raise to plus 20. This piece is pretty good to me right now. Surely no HP rolls for this piece right here. This piece has already gained my trust, so surely it won't break my trust. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, it's fine. It's still way better than the other pieces. So far, this is the best piece I have on right now. I don't think I got a Dendro Goblet here. The Dendro Goblet is gonna have to be the filler piece there. The Circlet, crit damage, attack percent. Okay, so I'm going for this one. Bro, that was death. What the fuck? Okay, that's fine. At least it wasn't HP. Feels like a nice amount of copium. Bro, what do you mean? <sighs> No, no, no copium here. No copium here, sir. Okay. Okay. Man, this build is actually ass. Actually so bad, but what can you do, man? One time for the copium. Wow. So I only have three dendro goblets. This one looks like the best one. Oh, ER. Uh, that's fine. Wait, there's literally no bad stat here. Cool crit rate. Nice. I guess the flat attack one is the only duck duck stat here. Pretty stinky stat right there. Okay, uh, okay, that, that's fine, but I don't really need a lot of ER though, but it's cool. Oh, cool, crit rate, nice. Uh, let's switch to the miss splitter right now. Wait, do I actually have a thousand def? What the fuck? What the hell? I actually do. Dang, this is actually a tank. 34% crit rate. That basically means I just need to hit like three times and I'm gonna crit. It's pretty good if you ask me. All right, I want to see some damage right now. Yeah, my talent level is seven right now. And I'm pretty sure that's just because of my C6. I think I can level this up. Yep. Okay, let's, let's go eight. Okay, nine. Cool. 10? Sure, why not? That's basically a crown. 249 EM. It's pretty high for a build that doesn't have a dedicated EM piece. Wait, did that work? Hold on. Let's check the EM. 449. Okay, so that's definitely boosted. Sheesh! Yo, 66k! Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the damage right now. I wouldn't say she's a budget Nahida though, because I only say they're budget if they're like a four-star version of the same element and same weapon type. So for this case, it's it's basically my Lumine as a Dendro Archon or some shit like that. Goodbye. Sheesh. 